What's going on my sex youtubers? Welcome back to Ricky 365. My name is Freak and this is your channel guys and, and today I'm gonna talk to you guys about cyber security and, and what you need to have yourself in you in order to be part of this uh, space. What I mean when I say space, I mean a lot of people wants to, I mean you, you hear everywhere you know, people go to college, go to school, they want to be in cybersecurity. Why is that? It's because there's over 100,000 jobs in America that requires that requires cybersecurity. 100,000 jobs. Sign me up, people say. Yeah, sign me up. Uh, people try to go to school, but then once they go to school, uh, they quickly find out that... Um, the courses they will be attending has nothing to do with cybersecurity. They end up with no uh, real training or real experience. And here we go. Somebody just got a bachelor's degree, an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree and have no single uh, experience in IT. So it becomes kind of hard to get to those, uh, to get to those uh, um, interviews. So when people ask you, hey, what is LDAP? You know how 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 do how 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 uh, does Microsoft use LDAP to authenticate people? And people be like, well, uh, I don't know, you know, or uh, do you know how to audit a computer? You know this uh, how to audit uh, the security settings or the system settings of a computer? Uh, people be like, mm, don't even know what you're talking about. And it's because people don't get uh, people don't receive proper training about the things that they need to know in order to really 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 uh start in their career in it but i'm gonna tell you exactly right now what you need in order to accomplish that okay you can do that through certification yeah through certification uh and what i mean with this is that you can study to certify yourself into a category something like security plus uh something like a ccna uh, or something like um, Network Plus. You know, those are the, the three most basic uh, certifications that I can that I can think top of my head about uh, about IT. So with these certifications, you are almost guarantee, almost guarantee to find a, at least a decent job in IT. I'm not saying uh, you, that you're gonna find out a six-figure job with no experience. I'm not saying that you're gonna get a, a manager position with these certifications. It's not gonna happen, buddy. It's not gonna happen, guys. Uh, but at least you can get your foot on the door. And you can go through an interview and say, well, I have Security Plus. Uh, I learned some skills. I got some education. Uh, maybe I did a year uh, working for an old company uh, that you might be able to transfer what you were doing into some IT certification, uh, into, into some IT experience. Uh, for example, Let's say that you work in a hotel. Pay attention to me. This video is going to be golden to you guys. Let's say that you work as a receptionist in a, uh, in a hotel for a year. You can, you, can, you, can, um, you can put that you have some IT experience if you did one of, one of the followings. Did you ever restart your, uh, your computer? Did you ever install an update? Did you ever, did you ever uh, open... Uh, uh, Outlook, Excel. Uh, do you ever? Um, I don't know. Do you ever um, answer the phone that was connected to uh, to your computer? That you can talk about that you have experience uh, utilizing uh, using technologies in a, a, a voice over IP, VoIP, VoIP, VoIP technologies. You know, you talking on the phone. That's a web technology. Uh, doing updates and patches. You can you can put up. You know that you spend a year doing updates and patches for a computer, uh, for Windows environment. Uh, if you were uh, um, keeping some type of audits, I mean, uh, we think. Let's say that you have a, a, um, that you have to keep audits of people that were in and out of the hotel. You know, you have to audit that every time that you do uh, every every morning when you or every afternoon when you got your shift, you have to go to this uh, to this cheat Excel cheat and see oh I have twenty people on the on on the on the building, and then five are supposed to sign out tomorrow. So that's some type of auditing. So you can say that you audit utilizing you know uh, Windows uh, products. You know, kind of kind of something like that. you got to work it out on your on your resume, guys. You got to work you got to work the magic. Now, 
What else can I tell you? What else can I tell you? Let's, uh, let's continue talking about this. Now, it's time for you to think about, hey, do you really want a, a, a career in IT? What do you need to do? Listen to me, guys. You need to get certified. You need to get a, as a minimum of, of, of a couple of certifications, maybe, maybe Net Plus, hopefully Security Plus, uh, or maybe if, you got, if you're interested in doing networking, uh, CCNA. You need to have the basics, the basics. So when you go to an, uh, to an organization to work in IT, you can tell them that you have some type of uh, technical background. That would be your technical background, okay? And then if it took you two years to, uh, to study and learn the techniques for Security Plus, just put that down. Just put that down, guys. People are driving crazy here in Tucson. Anyway, uh, now, you need to have something that I cannot teach you guys. Uh, you got to have something that I cannot, I cannot teach you, okay? Uh, and, this, and that's will. You need to have, you need to have will to learn. You got to have dedication to sit down and read books and, and, and watch videos on YouTube. You got to have, you got to, you got you to gotta have, um, you need to, you need, you need to want it. You need to want it so bad. So bad, so bad. Let me tell you a story, guys. Let me tell you a story. So uh, I was reading the other day about this, uh, this, this individual, this kid, who uh, he was living in uh, in the south east of of the uh, United States, and he wanted to go work in New York. And there was, uh, I believe, it was Sears, the company. But Sears have many, 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 many Sears in in New York, and he wanted to be in that company. We know that Sears dead now, but. Uh, many people made their life and careers in, with, with that company. So, this individual wrote 10 letters every day. 10 letters every day to Sears. And, it was, uh, and in every letter, he, he, he didn't have a computer. He didn't have a typewriter. So, he hand wrote these letters. And he sent them to the HR department. I just imagine the amount of the amount of uh, uh, post envelopes and, and paper and and, and 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 stamps that he must purchase, you know, and he sent letters, ten letters every day, to Sears, telling them how great the company was, how ambitious he was about working on that company, how he was working at home, but his uh, ultimate dream was to work for Sears and to uh, have a successful career. Ten letters. A year and a half later, he decided to go to New York. That's, that's crazy. A year and a half later, he decided to go to New York uh, and go to the, uh, the main offices. So he went over there. He went to the, he went to the, uh, uh, to the uh, receptionist and he's like, hey, I'm such and such. I'm here to see if, uh, uh, if I can talk to the people that recruit you know, to the HR manager. I want to, I want to talk to the man, man in charge. I have, I have sent so many letters here and then I'm, I'm getting no response. Okay. So to make this long story short, he ended up going to the office and he told the, uh, that this, this big director, hey, I'm such and such. I've been writing letters to you guys. Uh, and at that moment, he sat down on the chair on his desk and he reached to the right of one of his drawers on his desk and he pulled up all these letters from him. That is crazy. Right there and there he told him, you start tomorrow. So the reason why Sears didn't recruit him earlier was because they were sending them response, uh, but he, for some reason, uh, the letters never got to him. To me, to me, that's crazy. Over 400 letters he sent. So when, when, when you are out there, you know, telling yourself how, how, 
how life sucks, how you have submitted three applications and you got denied on those three applications on these jobs, how, how you've been trying to get this, uh, this, uh, this job that, you know, that, 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 that you, get, you keep getting passed and passed and passed, you know, and you, and you, and you tell me, oh, man, I mean, Rick, man, I don't know why they, hire, they haven't hired me in that position. I applied for the position five times. You know what I had to say to you? You got 395 more times to, go, to keep trying. Don't give up. You got 395 more, more times to go. Come on, make myself proud. Make yourself proud. That to me was crazy. Just reading that little thing, you know, understanding. I mean, it, took, it was longer than that. I mean, I probably can tell the story pretty good, but to me it was like inspirational. Like, wow, this is like for real, you know? The guy from the story, he ended up being a manager from some uh, 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 region and, 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 and he was able to retire. Uh, I don't see it. This is a very old story. Um, so I'm telling you guys, same thing applies to you. Keep trying. Don't give up. Don't. Uh, I mean, don't stop just because somebody tells you, you know, once don't 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 give up. If you go fail, if you go study for one certification and you go to try to take the test and you fail, hey, study twice, three, four times, ten times more harder, and then go test again. Okay. Reach out to people like me, and I'm, I'm not. And you know what I'm gonna tell you? I'm gonna tell you that you're bullshitting yourself. I'm gonna tell you that you need to cancel all your social media. I need to tell. I'm gonna tell you that you need to read the book five times back, front and back. I need to tell you that you need to get the, to every single preachers out there and score ninety or above. And then once you're ready, once you pass that, then you can go and retest, get your cert. That's how you're gonna get into IT. And yeah, of course, there's, there's other ways you can get into IT, but I mean, I'm not here telling you that. I think I know a little bit of what I'm talking about. Guys, it's, it's competitive out there. It's very, very, very competitive. And you're not only competing against uh, other people from the US, you're competing against people from, from India, which I, I, I admire so much, all those guys out there coming from India to work in IT. Let me tell you something, these guys are, are stacked. These guys are prepared. These guys are on point. People from Asia, yeah. You, people from South America with five, six, seven certs, PMP, CISSP system, 10, 20 certs. And I'm asking myself, I, you know, challenging guys. And as we as we as we evolve into uh, into a, a, a different future where where most of us we're gonna be working from home. Uh, or work from home, it gets more and more and more competitive. All I can sell to you guys, all I can say to you guys is this. You gotta do your best, 100%. You gotta do your best. Now, hopefully this video touches some of you guys' feelings, you know, like on your heart. Uh, don't forget to like the video, share the video, comment on the video. If you have any questions, let me know. And subscribe to the channel, okay? Take care one another, I will see you guys in my next video. Good night.